Hi, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. The tiki mechi here in the background is a new cuckoo clock that my husband picked up from his work a couple of days ago. And I do have my front door open so you might hear traffic drive by. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm just gonna share with you my hobonichis. And if you're interested in my happy planners, I'm gonna make another video for them. So this is my A5 five-year diary. And then this is my cousin. And so let's do a quick flip through of my cousin. So these are, you know, the beginning pages. This is the English version. I still haven't decided how I wanted to use this. Though I do have one book that's coming out in October written down. Chances are I won't buy it. I like the uh, floppy paperback. This is December. This was a class that I took. And then over here was another class. This is for January, uh, so today's the 13th, and actually I need to put a sticker for my dad's birthday. Uh, tomorrow is a writing challenge that's starting. I put it on a sticky note because I wasn't sure if they're gonna change the date, and they haven't, so we're starting tomorrow. But I did put down a little washi and then a little bit of stickers. And so this is something that I will uh, come back and update. As you can see, I haven't done it yet. Uh, but we had the street cleaning, so I need to put down the time. And then my mom's birthday was last week, last Thursday. So I need to come back in and fill this out a little bit more. Now let's go to the weekly. So this is the first week that we were able to do. So I did this in last week's video, but I thought I'd show it again. Um, packages I put over on this side. And it's almost like a, I guess like sort of like a, a loose bullet journal, right? So I give myself a checklist. I don't pre-decorate other than the uh, washi tape on the bottom. This is for last week. We had a lot of rain, which we needed. And then again, washi tape packages. So this is for this week. Again, washi still expecting a package. Um, I'm actually expecting the um, Traveler's Notebook. So I might do an unboxing for that. It's coming today. And so as you can see, so today's Friday, I did give myself a small checklist of uh, things that I need to do. Uh, I started reconciling my husband's business accounts and um, <laughs> didn't get very far. So I'm hoping to finish that today. Because again, um, our 100 day writing challenge is starting tomorrow. And so I really want to get geared up so I can start with everybody else. But you can see, I gave myself a checklist every day and I would either fill it out in the morning when I get up or the night before if I have an idea of what I'm gonna be doing the next day. But this is about uh, as advanced as I get with the pre-planning. Okay, and then now let's go to I still need to do this, the uh, turning the page to a new year. I haven't done that yet. This is the blank page that starts the month. Still haven't found anything to read. This is a gel pen. And so if you do use it on the paper, the Hobonichi, um, I would highly recommend after you write it to put something down and then rub on top of what you've written because otherwise it will smear. So I forgot. So that's the reason why I don't use gel pens in my Hobonichi. And I generally use the Hobonichi pen that comes with the planners if you order it from Japan. So again, this is the first day of January. So this is a quick flip through. Once again, I am trying to keep it not so chunky, but because I don't have any planners um, in any of my planners of putting down photos, uh, I decided to go a little bit smaller with the photos trying to spread it out a little bit better so that it doesn't chunk up. And instead I'm doing a lot more writing. At least that's the plan. And then using stickers, a little thin washi. So this is where we stopped last week. This is Friday. This is a, um, a card from my mother-in-law. On Saturday, we went to a place called Porthos. First time we ever tried it. Actually, it's the first place we've physically been to a building to order and eat there, but um, not the first time that I've tried there. So this is a tamale. This is a, I think they call it a potato ball. That is a chicken croquette that my, uh, my husband picked up a ham and cheese croissant. 
And then this is what it looked like before they, um, before we opened up the containers. And then that was a flower that I found at the mall and I thought it was really pretty. So here's Sunday. So we bought plants um, at home. No, it wasn't Home Depot, it was Walmart. And so we've been in our house now for, it'll be five years this year in a few months. And so the front yard basically looks the same, which is just different shades of green. And so we wanted to put some color down. So we spent Sunday uh, weeding the yard, the front part where we wanted to plant the flowers, which is right here. So you can't see them because they're not grown in yet, but there's two here and then there's two here. And that's a dragon fruit that I grew for my mom. And so she finally ate it. But going back to this, so these are the four roses that we bought. And again, I wanted, uh, I needed to put it somewhere, right? As well as the photos so that I can see, hopefully later in the year, how these roses are going to grow out. And then I have um, their photos so that when they finally do bloom, I can go out there and place a plant label at the base of the plant. Now this is, um, Hmm, it's a Haie, I think it's how it's pronounced. It's a shingle plant that I found at, uh, also at Walmart for $10.48. And I uh, thought it was a really good price. Uh, it didn't come with a pot, and the one that had really nice ceramic pots were running about $21. So I thought I got a really good deal for this. Uh, I do have a nose spend. I don't know if the nose spend is supposed to be just on stationary or on just buying stuff in general but I've been keeping track of the things that I've bought and I don't know where I'm keeping track of that you know what I think it's in my happy planner so we'll I'll show you that in the other video if you're curious about that so this is Sunday this is also Sunday even though I did take the photos on Monday but I uh, taped in the flower cards So here's Tuesday, we got a lot of rain, so I wrote about that and just put down stickers. <laughs> this is why I do not sketch in pencil or in pen, because once you've put it down, you can't erase it. So this is Jackie. She is a bald eagle in Big Bear. So she's considered a Big Bear eagle. Um, so Jackie and Shadow, they laid their egg. She laid her egg on Wednesday. So <laughs> that's what that's supposed to be. And so here she is kind of guarding her uh, egg after she laid it. But can you see that? So I still need to color it in. Um, but this is why I don't like to um, sketch or doodle in pen because once you've placed it down, you're kind of stuck with whatever you did. And so I don't exactly like her face um, or her beak. Um, but it is what it is. So, and then there's Big Bear Lake back here. So that's what that looks like. Yesterday was Thursday. So again, uh, I wrote about my day. I bought new uh, rain, bo rain boots, gardening boots, uh, because it's pretty muddy back there and I need to start weeding. So I bought new boots. Again, I don't know if I can consider this as part of my no spend or not. But I went ahead and cataloged it in, um, I guess, a spot in my Hobonichi. Today's Friday, so it's blank. So this is my cousin. And then this is, again, my five-year Hobonichi Techo. Um, I could not find a cover that I liked, so I made my own. So this is what it looks like. And so this is my watercoloring doodling um, book so hopefully you can see that and so every day I will try to doodle and watercolor so I'm taking it back to the first which I shared with you last week this this is that b1b Lancer that flew over the Rose Parade that's a spoonbill. So hopefully you can see what that looks like. That was the egg that uh, had cracked and was starting to hatch in Southwest Florida eagles in a video from uh, Lady Hawk. So this bird, little eagle, eaglet, is E21. 
So here's E21 the next day, next to E22. E22 hatched, I just did not doodle that in. So this is where we start. So this is last Friday. This is a bearded reedling, I think that's how you say it, or a bearded tit. But I just thought it was really cute. The color was a little bit off. Uh, it was kind of, depending on which photos you looked at, it sort of had an orangey, rusty brown color. And so I just went with a heavier orange color, again with watercolors. This is a beaver with a lettuce and carrot. He looks pretty angry and he looks kind of funny. I don't know what's what's missing. Oh, maybe it's his ear. I don't know. This is a shoe bill. You need to look this up. This is an incredible looking bird. He stands 3.5, 3.5 to five feet tall. So when he stands next to a human being, it's it's pretty incredible because it's, it's very, very tall. And his beak is very, very big. But I just love the way he looks. So I thought I would draw him in again. So this is part of the Hobonichi Challenge for January. I think they now do 15 prompts instead of 30, 31, or 28, depending on the month. So uh, Chinese New Year, I think, is on the 22nd this month. And so it's the year of the rabbit. And so they decided to do rabbit prompts. So this is a Holland lop. And then over here on this side, I would write down uh, whatever information is about my drawing. So this is what I drew. And then down here is where I wrote the date or the year. And then here I wrote the um, day and then the weather temp. And so then my plan is to keep sketching, right? So 23, 24, maybe 25, 26 and then 27 I'm not sure okay I can't pronounce this one this is an um uh, ma hmm. it's a rabbit <laughs> it is Japan's national treasure and it's found on two islands in Japan if you look up this rabbit he doesn't look like one because his ears are kind of short but he's very big uh, it's not a pet it's a wild animal and it's considered a living fossil so it was kind of neat. This is a cashmere lop. I liked how that one turned out. Maybe that's the difference because this one has a little scraggly versus this guy where he's just a straight line. Same with that one. This one I think just looks a little bit better than this one. And I think, is that it? And that's it. So today's the 13th. Um, because I was reconciling my husband's account, I didn't have any time to sit down and doodle anything. So hopefully I'll make some time this weekend to do that. So this is a quick look, flip through of my A5 five-year Hobonichi diary. This is my Hobonichi Techo A5 cousin size. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you'd like to see after the pin videos of my two planners. I will do chapters down below for the cousin and my A5 diary. And my next video I'm going to make is the happy planner and showing you how I use that. Okay, you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye!